So I, um, I don't know exactly where to look um, in this video, but I'm gonna do my best. My name is Esme Weijun Wang, and I'm a writer. I am the author of a novel called The Border of Paradise and an essay collection called The Collected Schizophrenias. And I'm very glad to be here with you today in, the, in these tough times. Um, to be honest, I am caring for myself with a lot of Pepto-Bismol. Um, that is uh, something that I'm using a lot these days. And I also very recently got an exercise trampoline. So uh, that is something that I have been uh, utilizing a lot. And um, I've been caring for others um, by checking in with my friends and sending letters through the post. Um, I have been reading poems. I've been reading poems people have been sharing on social media. Um, I am a part of a Slack group that has a channel where um, there's a channel called Poetry Pals and we share poetry there. Um, there are a lot of them and you can um, find where I am sharing a lot of these organizations and some of them are just um, like cash apps that you can donate to for bail runners or um, PayPal accounts. Um, but two of them that I've been donating to are Reclaim the Block and Black Visions donations. A favorite poem, this one is called Quarantine by Edan Boland. Um, in the worst hour of the worst season of the worst year of a whole people, a man set out from the workhouse with his wife. He was walking, they were both walking north. She was sick with famine fever and could not keep up. He lifted her and put her on his back. He walked like that west and west and north until at nightfall under freezing stars they arrived. In the morning, they were both found dead of cold, of hunger, of the toxins of a whole history. But her feet were held against his breastbone. The last heat of his flesh was his last gift to her. Let no love poem ever come to this threshold. There is no place here for the inexact praise of the easy graces and sensuality of the body. There is only time for this merciless inventory. Their death together in the winter of 1847. Also what they suffered, how they lived, and what there is between a man and woman, and in what darkness it can best be proved. And uh, in, uh, at the very end of this, I just want to, to tell you all to please um, stay safe out there. Um, these are tough times and uh, it's also time to fight, time to take care of ourselves. Eyes up, let's go.